Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to our Town of 12 Let's Play here on the Klaus Gaming YouTube channel, your source of Clash of Clans content, tips, tricks, and of course, entertainment. And if you like other games, then do be sure to check out my second YouTube channel, Klaus Media. Link is in the description. So guys, today on this Town of 12 Let's Play, um, it's... I'm going to be honest with you guys, it's been a while since I've recorded. Uh, the, the, the Grand Warden has one day to go. I have all four other builders available, and the laboratory is also available. So I've been bad. I have been very, very bad. I've been neglectful, not only of the warden. Get back where you were, dude. Uh, I've been neglectful, not only of the warden, but of the entire base itself. And you'll see this for the next few days, because I've just been neglectful of all, all of my accounts. Uh, it's just been, um, it's been a busy season. You know, holiday season. It's a great time of year. But anyway, so let's get in there immediately. And I am using today my Giggle Barch. Um, this is a strategy that I used back when I uh, farmed my original main account up. Uh, Giggle Barch, basically giants, goblins, barbarians, and archers. Giggle Barch. And it's amazing strategy because it kind of mixes together the brute force of Jai Barch with the the cutting in and stealing the Dark Elixir of the Goblin Knife. Mix those two together. Giga Barch. And it's actually way better if you have the Warden, uh, though it is doable without the Warden. Um, I don't have my Warden today, but what I do have are Wall Wreckers, and that's almost just as good, except for the whole uh, eternal tome ability that that thing that wall wrecker will not do the eternal tome ability but that's okay so let's just go straight in let's try to get some loot um i have no idea how much loot's in my treasury actually i probably should have checked but um today's going to be very off the cuff okay so today's one of those days where i'm totally not prepared for anything we're just going to go in we're going to grab loot and we're just going to see what we're going to do and i like this base I like this base uh the reason why i like this base is because it's got lots of elixir the town hall's not too far in and, um, I think we could be relatively successful, successful on this base. So let's actually start off with our giants. I'm going to do a two figure deployment on both corners here and then work my way toward the middle. There you go. Let's wall wrecker through that. I'm going to delay just a bit. So let the giants to get ahead. All right. Now barbarians and archers are going to create the funnel. All right. Uh, let's go wall breakers. Let's go king. Let's go queen. I'm actually going to now freeze that single target inferno. Get the rest of my barbarians in there. Let's rage and let's heal. Let's also set a jump spell. And I'm going to go ahead and deploy my goblins. Okay. They're going to go directly at this town hall or they're going to go toward a storage off on the side. That's, that's fine. Go to the, go to the town hall though, guys. Come on. There we go. They got that town hall down very, very nicely indeed. And now it looks like we're going to miss out on the, um, dark elixir storage, but that wouldn't have happened had I attacked the Town Hall 11, <laughs> so that's just something you got to be prepared for when you're using this strategy, is it's not going to three-star bases, and it's not going to survive the uh, the Giga Bomb if you don't have your Grand Warden. Yes, I, I warned you guys, the, the Giga Tesla is a brutal thing. Also, I request, ooh, ooh, go Queen, go Queen, oh, and the Queen with the Dark Elixir storage grab, wow. Wow, that was amazing. The queen went for the dark elixir storage. That was incredible. Okay, so, all right. Let's look at this loot. The loot was okay. Uh, 550,000 elixir. That's a lot of elixir. The dark elixir was just about 4,000 um, with the loot bonus added in, obviously, and then the gold about 300,000. I probably shouldn't have attacked that. I got a little bit, little bit um, starry-eyed. I saw that half a million elixir and I thought, yo, let's take on this base. But I should have looked and saw that's a town hall 12 and I have no warden. Maybe I should be a little more patient and head at town hall 11. However, we still got a successful attack. The goblins were able to take out the town hall. And now I'm going to request for Valkyries or bowlers. Now you'll look, if you look at the replay, you'll, uh, you'll notice at the very top here that I had a barbarian five hogs all right come on the words are in the way um i had a, a valkyrie and a bowler all of those things in the cc i don't know why i had hogs i don't request for hogs uh but somebody gave me hogs but this time we have valkyrie so that's actually way way better so i'm gonna go directly out and we're gonna try to grab another base that is another one with 500,000 elixir but that one had way more spread out elixir and this time i'm definitely not gonna hit a town of 12 because I'm not going to even have my heroes. So this is straight up. Let's assume all heroes are upgrading, but you still want to farm. This is how you would do it. And that is a tunnel 12 with lots of loot. I'm going to skip it. I'm sad about it, but that's, it is the way it is what it is. But Ooh, 
Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is um, this is great. Yes. Okay. So this is a ton of twelve. But if you look, all four of the elixir storages are on the outside. You have three drills all on one side. And on the same side of that town hall, you also have the dark elixir storage. This is a, an exception to the rule where I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit a base that I probably wouldn't otherwise. Just because all the loot is put in the right places. So um, the wizard tower is now distracted. And we're going to let this goblin set. There's like five goblins are going to grab all of the elixir out of that storage that was awesome okay so we're not gonna worry about the gold okay we're not worried about the gold next step is um let's put our giants down out here let's put our barbarians out there real nice and spread out because we want to make sure we get all those elixir storages and stuff there we go okay now wall wrecker i'm going to make sure and line it up with that dark elixir storage let's throw down a few but not all the goblins there we go and then wall breakers and ooh, we have cc of valkyries that is a terrible terrible thing let's drop a rage and heal i'm going to put my goblins down and then let's drop a freeze, a rage, a uh, jump. There we go. Another freeze. And then maybe one more rage. I'm thinking, yeah, let's just go ahead and rage it up. All right, Valkyries, get in there. Oh, 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 they're going to go for the queen. Oh, and they turn around and don't go for the town hall. Dang it. All right, we're not going to get a loot bonus that time. The queen distracted my Valkyries. But notice we got all that elixir, y'all. We got all that elixir. We got all that dark elixir. That was easy money. I might have lost the raid, but I don't care. I don't really care about trophies. In fact, honestly, the lower in the trophies that I'm going right now, the easier things seem to get. So I'm cool with that. I'm fine. Um, we just didn't get a loot bonus. Like the gold gains weren't that great. The elixir gains weren't that great. Actually, whoa, 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 whoa. The elixir gains were awesome. Okay. <laughs> Over half a million elixir on an army that uh, really doesn't cost a lot of elixir. I mean, if you look at the, let me see, Jai Barch. I've actually needed to change it. I'm going to change that to, to uh, Gigo Barch. Okay. That's how you spell Gigo Barch. So Gigo Barch is 286,000 elixir. That's a, that's a lot. But the, the reason why this strategy is so great is because 155 dark elixir. Now, there's other armies like that, too, that don't require any Dark Elixir to cook them, including Miners, which is directly below that. Look at that. The Elixir demand is over 400,000. And then the E-Drags, which I haven't cooked. Uh, you know what? I'm going to make an E-Drag army just to show you guys real quick. Let's, to, let's do uh, E-Drags, okay? E-Drags, let's create. And normally what I'll do is I'll throw in 10 balloons, and then I'll do the rest E-Drags. Okay, maybe uh, maybe eight balloons. Eight balloons. There we go. Eight balloons. And then I'll do one, two, three, four rages and three freezes. And that's it. So if I save that, boom, E-Drags, zero Dark Elixir. So it's actually because I don't bring a poison. I probably should, but I usually don't with E-Drags. Um, but 445,000 Elixir. Why am I so focused on Elixir? What's the deal? Why do I care so much about Elixir? Well, it's for the Warden. Um, we got loads of more upgrades to do with the Warden. We also have loads more upgrades to do in the lab. And that is why I'm focused so much on Elixir. But I also want Dark Elixir so that I can upgrade the King and the Queen and other stuff in the lab. So yeah, today I think Gigabarch may be the best strategy that we've looked at. I know I upgraded the balloons and never used it. Um, but that's something that... I had an itch on my nose and it was like, was there a bug on me? I mean, what was that? Anyway, so um, yeah, let's um, let's do some upgrades now. Now that I've talked my way through the actual army that we're using today. Let's bounce into my progress base and let's decide some stuff, okay? First and foremost, I do not have enough Dark Elixir to upgrade a hero. Once again, just haven't had... Haven't been dedicated enough lately, but um, we do definitely need to get a laboratory upgrade going. Now, I don't think that we can afford any of them unless we first collect the treasury now i do believe i've got a little bit in there i do okay nearly two million and over eight thousand dark elixir cool all right so we're in a better place now let's look back at our lab and see if any options are available to us really none of them the oh wow the only dark elixir option i have is the skeleton spell i'm not going to waste my dark elixir on that the other option is to upgrade siege machines because i can afford all of those however I always use the ones that are donated to me. I don't want to waste the gold. I'm a brand new baby Town Hall 12. So instead of spending my loot, I'm going to spend some more clan medals. And I'm going to buy a little bit more elixir. Okay, so that puts me at 9.9 .9 million elixir, which should open up an option or two. Okay, so that is... Um, that only, Wow, that only opened up the baby dragon. Ooh, and I, I would really prefer to uh, be able to upgrade the giants like that. I mean, I'm using the giants. I want to upgrade the giants. We're going to upgrade the giants today. So what that means is that I need to spend a little bit of elixir. So let's actually uh, uh, train up a gigabarch 
and get rid of that poison and train up maybe another gigabarch. And does that get me? Yes, that gets me there. Okay, great. So let's just buy that. We're going to be nearly maxing our elixir storage. Very good. And then if I just return a few giants until it doesn't let me anymore. Um, I think it's the giants. I think giants are the best ones to do it. Let's see if we get to 12 million getting rid of the giants, basically cashing them back. I'm going to send in the uh the wall breakers two and then i guess lastly what's more expensive archers yeah yeah archers are way more expensive makes sense i'm not gonna say anything else beyond that okay so um are we good they're all oh, dang we're close okay let's just get rid of all the archers we're getting to that perfect max elixir status guys wow i really actually needed to probably do spells and not troops yeah, well, let's do the Barbarians now. We're basically getting rid of everything but the Goblins. Oh, we're so close. 20,000 Elixir. Go, guys, go. You got this. And, oh, come on. Jeez. Yeah, the spells probably would have been faster. There we go. Wow. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have to dip into the Goblins, too. Oh, my goodness. This is ridiculous. I really thought this would have been quicker. Okay. I probably should have done the math beforehand so I knew what I was doing, but I, it's okay. <laughs> I don't always have to be prepared. There we go. And we'll do two more. And ah, one more. One more. Bam! We've maxed out our elixir. Yay. Huh. <sighs> Those 12 million elixir upgrades are a pain in the rear. I tell you what. <laughs> All right, guys. So finally, we get to max out our giants. And this is a major upgrade. The giants getting that next level, getting 80, 180, 180 more DPS each. Or hit points. 180 point hit points each. And then the DPS increases by 7 each. Get those under Rage Spell. And these things blow through walls. It's beautiful. And then, of course, a little bit more uh, training cost. That's not good. But, you know, it's worth it. So, let's upgrade these Giants, guys. The other options, now that we have Max Elixir. The other option is Wall Breakers. It would be more important to upgrade these if I didn't have Wall Wreckers. So, no problem there. Um, and then the rest of them are kind of extraneous. Don't even care, really. E-Drags would be fun. Um, miners would be fun, but right now I'm focusing on utility. Also, free spells would be a good idea. Uh, but I think that definitely upgrading our giants is the next step. So let's go ahead and do this, guys. Spending our elixir in three, two, one, bam. Great. And now I'm to zero elixir. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna return all this that I had um spent before just so that I have a little bit of elixir. I don't feel quite as bad. Okay, so I'm at 136,000 elixir. That's great. Definitely won't be able to use any more than that. Again, storing up the dark elixir. And now we need to spend some gold. And I think that we should definitely continue with our trend of finishing up our traps. So the Seeking Air Mine goes to level 2. It does have a third level, which is to max. So I said we go ahead and upgrade this. 2 million gold and 3, 2, 1. Bam. There we go. And then air bombs. I say we upgrade this other air bomb. It goes to level four and then to level five and then maxes out at level six. So we should definitely catch that one up one day. <laughs> one day upgrade. Holy cannoli. 1.5 million gold and three to one. Bam. All right. And then we got two more to go and we can afford these two air bombs. Basically, these are going to be maxed out. Getting the traps out of the way. It's good. So let's go and do this both guys in three to one. Bam. And and uh, keep the energy. Bam. Whew. I misclicked something and it didn't go according to plan, but we got it. I I almost blew a gasket, but I got it. All right, sweet. So there we go. Let's get these air bombs out of here. Come on. Stuff is just not working with me today. Let's, let's go, people. There we go. Now we got them over here. We can move them across the way, place them in their spot. I love moving the stuff across, especially at Town Hall 12, because it just takes a lot to max out stuff at Town Hall 12. Now... Let's reflect a little bit, okay? Town Hall 12, let's play. Town Hall 13, around the corner, if not already live by the time this video goes live. We also have, or by the time you see this especially, um, but we also have all these Town Hall 11 level walls. Or these are actually Town Hall 10 level walls. Rushed walls. I'm having a hard time keeping up with all the things that I, I need to do. Uh, but it's okay. It's it's fine. Um, you know, we're, we'll... We'll eventually get it done. At least we're getting stuff done and it's moving across the way. We're getting laboratory upgrades done. And that is going to make us much better at attacking. And let's just be honest. That's the best part of the whole game, right? Attacking. That's that's priority. So I'm happy with all that. I think this all turned out really nicely. Um, I don't like having to spend medals. But you know what? They're there. And we might as well spend them on something. So now that all of that is in the books, let us move on to today's comment question of the day. Hey, interesting question from Evan04. And the question is, 
Hi, Klaus. What happened to you and Galadon's Tunnel 10 Let's Play series? And I don't think I've actually answered this directly, so this is a great question. Thank you for the question, Evan, first of all. Um, so basically, for anybody that was unsure or was not sure what I'm talking about, basically, Galadon and I did a Tunnel 10 Let's Play. And we went to Town Hall 10 I, at the exact same moment. I don't know if we streamed that moment. I don't remember now. It's been a while. But um, basically what we were doing was we were doing these challenges. We were farming up our accounts and posting videos about it. And here's what happened. The views were bad. The views were terrible. I mean, people, uh, the first video got a normal amount of views for my channel and, and his channel. This isn't just me. This was, was This was on his channel too. And so we, we, we posted episode one and then we posted episode two views are okay. Episode three views were getting worse and we're like, what happened? So let's think of a new idea. We come up with something creative post number four views were worse. And then view number five was worse. And then we were like, you know what? This downward trend is telling us that our audience don't like to see this. YouTube, right? Uh, analytics come in handy. So we decided to uh, forsake the series, basically because we don't want to make content that people don't want to watch. That's, again, YouTube 101. So, Evan, that's where my uh, Tunnel 10 Let's Play with Galadon went. I know right now I've got a Tunnel 9, a Town Hall 11, and a Town Hall 12 Let's Play going. Um, soon to be Town Hall 13 once the update goes live. But... Would you guys like to see that Tunnel 10 Let's Play come back? Do you want it with or without Galadon? Would you prefer that we did a uh, just a shout-out collaboration instead of like challenges collaborations? Because shout-out collaborations are just as good, I think. And they're also easier to record. Because like collaborative, actual collaborative videos require that him and I be on the same schedule. And that is very rare because I film my stuff in the mornings. He films his stuff in the evenings. So we have an opposite schedule as is usually... The same with all YouTubers compared to myself. I, I seem the only the, to be like the only morning person in the entire community. But um, anyway, yeah. So let me know in the comments if you guys think about all that. Um, I, I like Town Hall 10. Town Hall 10 is a fun town hall because that's the first town hall where you get access to siege machines through your clan castle donations. You can't make them yourself till Town Hall 12. But uh, you need uh, to, to get donations from your clan castle, from your clan mates, to get siege machines at Tunnel 10. So, um, so yeah, it's a fun thing. So, I'm interested in y'all's, your, uh, your ideas. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. And, uh, once again, Evan, thank you for the question. So, guys, if you want me to answer one of your questions in a future video, post it down below in the comments section. Also, thank you for watching. Like the video if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already for daily gaming videos and to join the Klaus family. And, uh, one more thing. Very, very important. Be sure to hit the gears at the bottom right hand side of your screen scroll down to the bottom actually you can't scroll on this uh, hit more settings at the bottom right hand side and then click creator boost enter code klaus to support me make sure that you're supporting somebody and remember that it disappears every seven days so if you've done it before double check and make sure that you're doing it again before you make any in-game purchases support somebody even if it ain't me okay just make sure you're supporting somebody otherwise it's a waste but that's it for me. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Remember that I love each and every one of you, and I will see you all again next time.